Well, I I don't really have like a singer who I listen to all the time was like my influence, but um, yeah. I've had a few in my life that I've been in love with. Not like in love, but you know, like musically in love. It's like when I grew up, people we lived. It was still Soviet Union, you know, until I was five years old. So we kind of lived behind that iron curtain and. My parents definitely didn't listen to any music. So I remember when I was five, we had two cassettes. One of them was Phil Collins and the other one was B Bunny Tyler. So Bunny Tyler was my favorite and Phil Collins was my sister's favorite. So I, could, I knew all the Bunny Tyler songs by heart. And I don't know, maybe the dramatic part comes from there. And then when I was 14, I was crazy about Lauren Hill. I listened to her all the time that miseducation of lauren hill is probably one of my favorite records of all time just because it's it's really really well done and i remember that i couldn't find it in estonia and i couldn't find it in germany and i went to russia and i went to like the first metro station and i was like do you have the lauren hill album and they're like Ganyeshna. it's like of course they got that album and i'm like give me something else really good like give me something that people buy so he gives me the Bjork album, the best songs of Bjork or something. And I was like, okay, yeah, that looks fine, okay. I mean, I had it, the, the, every CD cost like one dollar. So um, I went home and I listened to it and since then Bjork has been my favorite singer of all times. Just because she's so unique, it's not like I listen to her 24-7, but she's, she's got balls. <laughs>